Yo, 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 what's happening everybody? Pritchard here. Yeah. If anyone follows me on social media, you'll know that I left you a message saying that I've got something exciting coming up for next year. And uh, exciting it is. For all of you that are interested, we're going on a five-day trek in Kenya next year in June and there's room for 20 people. But we're going to be hiking, we're going to be whitewater rafting and we're going to be mountain biking as well in some of the most stunning places you could think of. Just think all the wildlife, the lions, the leopards, the giraffes, all of this whilst camping as well, which is going to be absolutely stunning. We're going to start off our five-day trek by climbing uh, Africa's second highest mountain, which is Mount Kenya. We're going to be going through. Sorry, I've got I've got, I've got some notes here because my memory is shot to bits, just so I get it right, so you know exactly what's expected of you and what we've got in our plan, basically. It's going to be Africa's second highest mountain, Mount Kenya, and we're going to be going through dense forest, bamboo, and obviously once you're on that trek, you're going to see elephants, you're going to see buffalo, and you're going to see some monkeys. Yes, I can be with some of my brothers and sisters, monkeys. <laughs> Taxi. I absolutely love monkeys. If I could have a monkey as a pet, it would be brilliant. I'm sure my mother and my fiance think uh, I'm a bit of a monkey myself, but can you imagine climbing and hiking and just seeing this natural wildlife all around you and being close to such great animals, it'd be absolutely an amazing buzz. So that's gonna be the first part, hiking Mount Kenya. Next up is a two day mountain bike. We're gonna be covering 106 kilometers. There's very little traffic, it's mainly, it's mainly dirt roads. There's some tough climbs and there's some very good downhill parts as well where we can have fun and just go hacking down the mountain. Well, you don't have to go hacking down the mountain, but I'm sure I will be uh, testing the limits a little bit. <laughs> Fingers crossed they don't fall off. But uh, yeah, mountain biking, 106 Ks, but then we will be camping as well overnight. So we're gonna be camping overnight and just imagine sleeping in your tent and you've just got that sound of the African game and you've got all those noises from all the animals and stuff and you, 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 all your senses. It's, it's, it's going to be absolutely amazing to camp in such wildlife, be brilliant. After the hike and after the bike, we're gonna be going on a white water rafting uh, experience down the Tanya River. It's 1,000 kilometers long. There's loads of bends. Obviously, there's going to be loads of bumps, loads of white water rafting. We're going to be with a guide, so everything's going to be safe. It's all going to be cool, and it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. It's going to be surrounded by forest, loads of fig trees. If it's not too fast, we could stop off and pick a fig, get some energy. Figs are full of energy as well, they're really good. Not like fig rolls, we haven't got time to make fig rolls. But anyway, we can stop off if we can to get some figs and have something to eat. Uh, there's gonna be loads of palm trees as well. Can you imagine that? Just being in the white water, in the middle of nature, in Africa, Kenya, hacking down this river and seeing some of the most beautiful scenery and at the same time having a lot of fun. Before we go on our trek, I'm gonna be doing a training weekend in Snowdonia where we can all get together. Now I think there's room for 20 people. We'll get to meet our guides, the doctor. Obviously we're gonna need the doctor just in case anything happens, touch wood. Nothing will happen, everything should be fine. So yeah, we're gonna be doing a training weekend. It, it'd be nice to get to know everybody, hang out, yeah, just do some fitness and go to the most beautiful place in Wales, Snowdonia. It's one of my favorite places in Wales, actually. I've climbed Snowdon quite a lot of times, but I've always gone the Clan Bellis Pass, which is nine and a half miles long. It's a simple walk, there's a few little tough places in part but it, not long ago in one of my other vlogs if you have a look back i don't know what vlog it was but i went with a mountain leader kevin dyke and he took me up the crib corkway hello say like took me up the crib cork but honestly when we did that it was one of the best experiences of climbing a mountain i've ever had don't get me wrong it was scary but it was the most exciting and most exhilarating way of climbing up in snowden i don't think we'll be doing that on the weekend but we will be uh 
doing some hiking and uh, obviously some training. Don't forget, 12 weeks before we actually go on our mission to Kenya, uh, I will provide you all with a 12 week training plan, which will be put together by a trained coach. I'm not a trained coach myself, but I know people who are, so they'll put you together a 12 week training plan so you can be fit enough to do the hike, to do the bike, and to do the white water rafting. What else do you need? Towards the end of our trip, we're gonna be visiting a school. So I'm asking you all to bring some school supplies that we can give out to the children in the school, which would be very nice for all the children involved. It'd be nice to give them a nice little gift. And also we will, be planting three trees each to offset our carbon footprint. Now each tree costs a pound. What's a pound? <laughs> I mean, pound is nothing these days. So if we all chip in three quid each, we all plant three trees each to offset our carbon footprint. This five day trek is going to be amazing. I mean, the chance to be with wildlife, to do stuff like hiking, whitewater rafting, cycling, to hang out with some amazing people who share the same adventurous uh, lifestyles will be a great experience. And to top it all off, at the end of it all, once we've finished, we're all knackered, we're all tired, we've had a really good five days, we're gonna sit around the campfire, I'm gonna cook a vegan barbecue. I mean, there will be vegetarian options as well but I'll be cooking a, a vegan barbecue and we can all sit down, share our stories about the five day trip and we can have a few beers as well and uh, generally just have a laugh. I mean, if we're lucky enough, we could bring a sound system along and start dancing around the campfire and pretending we're a tribe. You never know, some of the local lions, some of the local elephants might come and join us. I'd like to touch on something there as well. When I, when I was speaking to the organizers about doing this event, firstly, I'd like to say I'm really honored to be uh, asked to be part of this event because uh, it's something I've always wanted to do you know I, I I live in Wales I've got the Brecon Beacons on my doorstep I've got Snowden four hours drive away but to go to Africa to be able to camp and be surrounded by such wildlife as elephants lions leopards giraffes is something special if any of you are interested in joining me for this five-day trek hiking whitewater rafting and mountain biking finished off with a nice party around a campfire with me cooking some vegan food and some vegetarian options available and having a few glasses of wine, then all the information is down below. Click on the link, sign up, and I shall see you for the training weekend in Snowdonia and we will go and have a right laugh. So join me on Earth Edge's trip of a lifetime from June the 16th to June the 25th 2021. See you there. Toodle bit. A ciao for now.